Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Yes, we have returned to the fourth game in the series, this one released in the year 2000. Developed and published, of course, by LucasArts, who else? Um, this version is actually a little bit different, we are in fact playing the PS2 version, which was released a few months later in 2001, and it's even more different in the fact that I am emulating it, but I'll get into some of this stuff a bit later on, it was a right faff getting this game working on Windows 10 and working correctly. But yeah, as you can tell, it's the first game in the series to be 3D. Very weird, it's going to take some getting used to. Um, if you can remember, at the end of uh, Curse of Monkey Island, the third game, I think it kind of ended with us crushing LeChuck under an avalanche and then going off to marry Elaine Marley and we sailed off into the sunset all of our friends waving us goodbye, so I don't think there's much else to do apart from see what happened after that. Let's get started. From the personal log of Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the seven seas? <laughs> And who could have guessed that my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life, Melee Island's Governor Elaine Marley. Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of- Die, Rush! Uh, yes, dear. Dreaming and make yourself useful! Oh boy, we're just going straight in, I guess. Um <laughs> man, what a start. It seems like a uh... The trip back to Melee Island hasn't gone very smoothly for Elaine and uh, Guybrush here, but can I just start off by saying that this is really weird, like seeing those cutscenes in 3D, usually 
when 2D stuff goes to 3D, it ends up looking pretty weird, like The Simpsons, for example. But I gotta say, I'm really liking the look of 3D Guybrush. Like, the hair's cool, and it's exactly how I would picture Guybrush if he, if he was to be 3D. So, I'm hoping the rest of the game holds up like that. Because, um, honestly, it looks pretty good. Obviously, it's a bit dated, but... I don't know, it looks cool. Anyway, I, I guess we should pay attention to uh, what's happening. We are stuck on a ship. Um, tied to uh, a mast. Um, now this is where I've got to get used to the controls because as you can tell there's no mouse, there's no cursor for this game. It's all done by, uh, if I was playing this on PC, it will be done by the keyboard and now I'm using a controller. So, let's have a look. We can look at things. I, <laughs> I've actually um, wrote down the what the buttons do because I keep getting them mixed up. So, X is select. It's full of hot coals. And we can change what we do. Oh, look at that! He even moves to the direction. Wow! Look at the enemy pirate. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. Uh, so square is pick up or put away. I'm not picking that up. Okay. What about the hot coals? It's too cumbersome to handle with just my feet. All right. Um, circle is look at. It's full of hot coals. Oh, which is what that already was. I guess look at is maybe the default. And triangle is use. Aha! <laughs> Okay, so now we've got a pile of... Oh, this is going to take some real getting used to. So we've got a pile of hot coals there. What else is over here? We've got a, a cargo hold grate. It's the grated door to the ship's cargo hold. Ooh, probably can't get in there. Probably a bit too far away. I have more important things to do than futz around in the cargo hold. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, what is that over there? That looks like a, ooh, a loaded cannon. That cannon looks ready to fire. If only I could get that thing to go off. Okay, and can we know about this enemy ship? Why are we being attacked? Who by? Their ship is bigger than ours. Those bullies. Such bullies. Uh, right, I guess we're going to have to use those hot coals to trigger the cannon. That makes the most sense to me. Hey, I've played three of these games before. I know what I'm doing, of course. So let's pick up with square. <laughs> Using our feet, I guess. And we want to kick the red hot chunk of coal at loaded cannon. Yeah, there we go. Worked like a charm. Did you untie me? And here we go, Act 1. Things to do on Melee Island. Trademarked when you're dead. Push that smelly pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. Mm. I hope the loyal citizens of Melee don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. Could be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with a rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. <laughs> Whoa. I got it. <sighs> the burden of being the governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, and the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Mm. Oh well, here it goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? Where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming committee? The banners? The crushing throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning.
No, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's that? Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? <laughs> Either his litter box is full or he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Timmy? Is something wrong? Free grog at the scum bar? There's been an outbreak of scurvy? <laughs> you won 74 bucks playing bingo but lost it all playing banana futures. Trouble with the governor's mansion. Let's go. Hmm. Let's try forty seven, seven point nine, minus twenty seven. Fire! Ah! What do you think you're doing? What does he look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't knock down the governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. The governor's dead, ma'am. Dead? Was the marriage that killed her, they say. But I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy your mansion with this here catapult. Something's rotten on Melee Island. I know. But the stench usually drifts away with high tide. I've got a plan. Although it sometimes lingers during an eclipse. Ugh, guy brush! Uh, yes, dear? I'm going down to City Hall to see about getting declared undead. Won't that make you a flesh-eating zombie? In the meantime, I need you to do two things for me. More back rubs and foot massages? Or maybe later. First, I want you to put a stop to this insane boulder flinging. Stop the insanity. Check. Second, I want you to go to Lucre Island. Talk to my grandpa's lawyers. They might know how to help us fight City Hall. Oh, but I hate talking to lawyers. And not as much as they'll hate talking to you, dear. Okay. Well, I've got a resurrection to perform. Be good, dear. And don't forget, stop the catapult, go to Lucre Island. Sounds like the honeymoon Jova. She was a lot nicer before she died. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Can we actually control? We can control Guybrush. Nice. Well, oh dear, Marley's officially dead and this guy's trying his best to tear down the mansion. I can't say he's doing a very good job, is he? I mean, look, what is he going to get with one boulder at a time? Go on. I dare you. I dare you. What's this? Hey, oh. get away from there before I pop you one on the head, capiche? Oh blimey, is he from the Italian mafia or something? Capiche? Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. All right. So um, hmm. I guess what we should try and do Let's really try. is explore the 25. island first. Um, Minus our main goals are going to be. Oh, you be quiet. Main goals are going to be to stop this guy doing that. Fire! And also get to where is it? Luca Island. Yeah, he's missing big time. Can I have a look at the... Uh, maybe we can just talk to him. Maybe we can just persuade him if we ask nicely. Hey, could you stop that? Um, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a sec. Oh, he's very weird looking, isn't he? What? What? Well, um... Please stop firing the boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. What are those numbers you're muttering? Well, oh, they're obviously going to be like directions aren't they um how would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates wow we don't waste any time in this game we're just straight onto the crew uh not that i'm complaining but why are you having such a hard time here in my house you're a busy man why is he so bad at this not that i'm complaining but why are you having such a hard time hitting my house it's this catapult i've never seen such a finicky piece of machinery besides which it throws like a girl Okay, yeah, but then they do say a good workman never blames his tools, so, mmm. Uh, can he just stop? Please stop firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. 
Sorry about that, kid, but I'm under contract. Under contract from who, though? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, what are those numbers you're muttering? You know, I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something, but I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. Dang. Can you show me how to hit the cactus? What do we have against that poor cactus? Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. Ooh. Oh, that pile of boulders back there. <gasps> maybe we need to steal one. Or maybe we just need to hit that damn cactus. Oh, come on. I want to see a boulder hit the cactus. No, I'm not wasting a boulder while the catapult's functioning properly. No, he's not going to do it. Okay, um, let's stop you talking to like him. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. I want to go have a look at the boulders. Hey, oh, no, he's going to yell at us. Get away from there before I pop you one in the head, capiche? All right, all right. Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. I guess we can't really do much with this guy until we hmm. maybe get some tools or some Let's items to use. Oh, so yeah, the way this game works is that it's sort of like a fixed camera, and then you control Guybrush within that that fixed position. Uh, it's really cool. It's gonna take, like I've said many times now, some getting used to, but we'll get there eventually. We'll get into the swing of things, like looking at this cow-shaped bush, for example. Hey, I bet I could market this vegetarian steak. <laughs> What's this one? Is that a turtus? A, t a turtus? What's a turtus? A tortoise even? A f oh no, it's a fat bird shape. That is one fat bird. A turtus is a turtle and a tortoise in one. Maybe that is actually a thing. I don't know. And what's this one? Uh, a pig. Hmm. Let's try. I thought that was me talking then. 5.5. Hey, no, no, no. Look at that. That pig-shaped bush frightens and confuses me. <laughs> Fries and confuses. <laughs> Wait, jump off cliff. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel adventure game. Eh, forget it. Oh, I thought you'd actually do it. Oh, never mind. Uh, so, what happens then if we have a little look in? Oh, melee town. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at this place. I think it's a bit dead to me. Where is everyone? I guess it's the middle of the night. I love I one thing I love about my gardening games is the clouds. I love the clouds. Look how wispy they are. It's great. Love it. So what do we have in the town? We have Well that place looks scary, that's not going there yet. Uh oh. Is that real estate? How do I make it? This is gonna be one issue, it's like you've got to get just the right angle to do it again. There you go. Sold. Oh, can we not go in? Uh, use, which is triangle. Another sold sign. I'm not picking that up. Sold. I'm detecting a pattern here. Another sold sign. Everything's been sold out. Sold. I'm detecting a pattern here. What about on this side? Enter door, yeah. Oh, it's one of those shortcut doors, isn't it? Like in all the other games, it leads you to the other side of the town or something. Is that going to take me back? Guybrush, what are you doing here? Uh, looking for a bathroom? Quit fooling around and stop that catapult! Oh, I think that was, uh, that was a lane. Whoops. So is that gonna lead me back then? No, now I'm over there! What the hell is going on with these doors? <laughs> what is this shop? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a book, bookstore. The old creepy unlit place for books. Gee, that doesn't sound too inviting. It doesn't. I wonder who though, um, those people were. Oh, there they Was this them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh wow, alright, so the camera goes from there, to there, whoa, to there. Who are these familiar looking pirates, hmm? Ahoy there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Yes. Ah! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, you, uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it, uh, I startled. <laughs> You two look awfully familiar, do they? I'm putting together a crew for a mission to Luca Island. Wanna join? Uh, let's, let's see why they look familiar first. You two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common looking faces, isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who looked like us. Didn't we run into each other last summer on Fat Island? Oh, my memory's so bad, did we? 
Aren't you the famous comedy team of Youngla and Mutz? Dudes, aren't you the founding members of Keel Hall, the world's loudest pirate speed metal metal band? Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? Maybe I'm confusing you. Um, what was that? Duh. Let's go with uh, the cruise. Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? I don't think so. Carla, make the bad man stop. He's come to take us back to Monkey Island. Carla? Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the swordmaster of Melee Island. And you're Otis. I don't know what you're talking about. Let it go, Otis. The half-witch recognized us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two-thirds of my original Monkey Island crew. The crew you abandoned on Monkey Island, you mean? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to escape from Monkey Island? No. How difficult is it to? Escape from Monkey Island. Um, well, <laughs> it's really difficult. Yeah. The whole experience was very traumatizing. Scared us for life. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't feed the narwhals, buster. Oh, yes, okay, okay, I get it. So, Carla was the one who teach, uh, taught, taught us to do the sword fighting, and Otis was the guy in the prison, wasn't he? That we let out. Um, and then, yeah, because I did wonder, we did leave him at the end of the game. I think he said two-thirds of our crew wasn't the other one, the um, Meat Hook, or something Meat, his name was. He was the guy in the house that we kept on having to try and fight. Oh, I think that was it. And I did wonder what happened to him. So yeah, what have they been up to? So, what have you Rapscallions been up to? Ah, uh, where to begin? Uh, what about... Captain Smirk, the sword trainer? Uh, where's the third member? Let's see if I'm right. It should be that meat guy. Well, where's the third member of our old crew? You mean Meat Hook? Yeah! That's a good question. After we finally got off Monkey Island, Meat Hook renounced his piratey lifestyle and returned to his true passion. Drinking? Painting. Painting? But the guy's got no hands. That's what we said. Oh, well, that's nice. It's nice that he tried. You know, people do weird stuff now. They can paint with, like, all sorts of things. So I, I, I wouldn't put it past him. Um, what about Otis? What's he been up to? How about you, Otis? What have you been doing for the last few years? Well, after I finally escaped it from Monkey Island, I made my way back to Melee Island, where I tried to resume my former profession. Petty thievery? I prefer to think of it as proactive redistribution of wealth. Unfortunately, the indignities I suffer on Monkey Island have left me so jittery that I cannot pick a lock or a pocket without making more noise than a flatulent hippo. What vivid imagery. So how do you earn a living? Begging mostly. You'd be amazed how many people will pay to hear the story of the innocent pirates who were betrayed by their idiot captain. Wow. Well, we're a real jerk, aren't we? We've, we've ruined these people's lives. Aww. Carla, how are you? What have you been doing with yourself, Carla? You mean, after I finally managed to escape from Monkey Island? You're never gonna forgive me for that, are you? Not in this lifetime. Anyhow, I've spent the last few years here on Melee Island re-establishing my Swordmaster credentials. Well, that sounds productive. Oh, it was. Until that Australian showed up. Australian? Yeah. An Australian real estate developer. He challenged me to a round of insult sword fighting, badgered me into betting my house. It was over so quickly. <laughs> Gee. Now I wander the streets of Melee insult sword fighting for food. How sad. Oh, this is just awful. This is awful. I don't remember Captain Smirk, though. Um, I'm tired of rehashing the old days. Let's talk about the here and now. I'm tired of rehashing the old days. Let's talk about the here and now. If we must. So... Do they want to, I mean, after all of that, and how much we've ruined their lives, would you like to join my new crew? Won't you join my crew, for old time's sake? Guybrush, take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys! That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about... How about... I don't think any of these are gonna work. A brand new car! A brand new car! What? Sorry, I kinda got caught up in the moment. Well, how about... Mmm... My undying and unconditional gratitude, baby. What was that? Were you coming on to me? Oh, icky. Hey, I'm married. Then quit using your picking up Winch's voice. 
It's creepy. Sorry. Well, how about? That was really creepy. Some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island. Oh, that's rich. Everyone knows that a mysterious foreign investor has bought up all the real estate around Booty Island. Well, how about? What is all this about real estate? We just saw those those um, places sold in the town, and now Carl is talking about some Australian developer. Uh, look, nothing's gonna work. Um, come to think of it, I can't think of a good reason for you to join my crew. Well, let us know when you think of one. Well, I guess. Be seeing you. Not if we see you first. Oh, that's kind of a bit sad, actually. It's it's we've finally realised some of the consequences of our actions in the previous game. And it's not all a happy ending for some. But um, I think that's going to do it for this first episode. We got the game started, we got the story going, we've sort of had a little, a little wander around um, Melee Town and seen some familiar faces. In the next episode, I guess we should continue exploring and try and find out how to stop that catapult and get to Luca Island. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!